sponsor Red Bull. Um, there's lots of people around and yeah, I think it's going to be pretty busy at the tent. Being one of the, the top surfers leading into the event, you know, every year I've come back more and more people have recognised me. You know, people want autographs and, and pictures and, you know, that, that always blows me away. Thanks so much. Travelling with my dad and, and coaches, uh, Dan Ross and Slack, that's my comfort zone and, and that's where, you know, I feel most relaxed and they put me in that mindset of, you know, getting ready to compete but also keeping it really light-hearted and fun. Bigger waves of the day. Sally, bam, banks it off the top on her backhand, fitting in two tight turns right there. Six, huh? There she goes. She's ready. Oh, cuts that wave right there, and nice turn. Wow. Mr. Moore. Be close again, as usual, between these two. Surfing and win the heat, that's what it was. Uh, all good. <laughs> Looking back through the event, I guess surfing from all the girls was a super high standard, and from Sal's perspective, she was. She put in some good performances, but I never thought she really got to open up on some big sections, especially with that heat with Carissa. She, she had an amazing start, was building, building, and then kind of just flattened out a bit. And, and I guess, you know, you can't do that against a competitor like Carissa. So it's a uh, bummer for sale, but she's uh, back to doing what she, what she does best and putting in that motivation and the training and everything to, to get up there on top. In the dark. You know, it just makes me hungry. You know, not getting that win here at the US Open. I'm ready to come back next year and I'm going to be pretty fiery and I think, um, yeah, no one will be able to stop me.